The following video is a little bit different. We've combined three locations during our travels from Broome to Karangini National Park. So these three locations you could spend anywhere from one day through to a week or more um, while traveling down the west coast. So check them out and see if you like them. They might be good for you and your family. We have delayed the release of this video due to the COVID changes and the events that are happening around Australia. To all our family and friends at home, please keep safe, look after each other. We miss you. So what this means for our travels at the moment, well, we've made it to South Australia. The videos are behind where we are. So we will keep an eye on the news just like everybody else. We may need to avoid Victoria or New South Wales and at the moment we may have to go through Northern Territory to get back to Queensland. So we're just going to keep an eye on the news just like everybody else and see what this means for our, our big lap. bit of dirt road for the caravan so we'll see how she goes. Alright guys so we just pulled into Barn Hill Station um, we're gonna have a few nights here we've just left Broome it's about 150 kilometers south um, so it's a station stay so they still have power and we're hoping they still have water but we're taking the big girl out on her first dirt road so we're gonna make a few adjustments in the Crusader just to try and limit some of the dust that we're gonna get inside um, so you'll already see, we've just put a little bit of a plastic bag over the, over the door. We don't know whether it's really needed, but we're just trying to, you know, do what we can. And yeah, it's a bit of a hack job, but we're just going to try to do what we can just to try and limit the dust inside. And we've just made one more adjustment inside as well, and that's by turning on the scupper vent. Now you can see the scupper vent it lives at the top of the caravan. That's to create positive pressure. Hopefully forcing all of the air from outside not being able to get in. We have also taped up the vent that's near the satellite uh, just to try and limit dust coming in as well. So we're really keen to um, drive the next 10 k's down to Barnhill Station and um, from what we've heard the caravan site is right on the, right on the cliffs so it should be a really nice couple of days. It is our first Day, however, um, excluding the free camp without any aircon. So hopefully it's starting to cool down enough and we should be fine.
Alicia. Gus Matheson. It's a nice little park and just a good little reminder of how far we've come in the mining industry. Well done to the council and the residents who you know, keep this park maintained for visitors like us. caravan park at Port Headland. So this is the beach right in front. We've been told that there's just some beautiful rock pools down here which I'm not too sure if we've walked far enough but we found like a little inlet um, and there's plenty of shells to see and to have a look at. So everyone's down just exploring at the moment. I'm following the little footprints so I know how to find them. But they're just down over here trying to find some buried treasure. Let's see how we go.